Welcome to the video series of Magic Tricks for .NET Developers with Visual Studio Part 1. In this video series, we will try to cover various useful features of Visual Studio. So this is the code I have written for you. Let us jump into the first feature we are going to cover in this demo. As you can see the code is not structured. So there is a feature in Visual Studio to autom automatically format the code for you. There is a command called Control K D. See now I'm going to press Control K D. See the code is formatted, auto formatted. So this is one of the feature of uh, Visual Studio. Let us jump into one more feature. Let us see. Uh, we have various namespaces added here. As you can see in the code. We are not using system.io and system.xml. We are not using any of the classes. So let us see whether we can do some code cleanup using C. Uh, so we have a feature called organize usings. Here we can remove unused usings and sort usings and do both remove as well as sort. Let us try to click remove and sort see other than system namespace we are not using any of the classes for those namespaces so it got removed if we would have more namespaces here it would have sorted also let us jump into some more features of visual studio so here you can see some code is commented so to comment and uncomment the code there are some shortcuts like control k u to uncomment and control K C for commenting the code. We have the options also available in the toolbox and other shortcuts also listed over here. So alternative shortcut control E C and control E U. So let us uncomment this code control K U. So as you can see there is a namespace missing for this class event lock here I am trying to log some message to the event viewer there is a feature of Visual Studio which automatically gives us list out all the namespaces related namespace for this class so just we need to focus on the focus the cursor on the class and click control dot so here we are the, all the namespaces related namespaces are listed so event belongs to system dot diagnosis so we need to select the namespace and that will be added to our code base as as you can see now the error has gone so this is one of the feature of visual studio let's jump into one more feature uh, let us see if we can see in this main method we have coded many things like we are calculating the age and deciding whether the, he's an adult or child and logging as well so let us see we have some features refactoring feature available in visual studio if you select that particular line of code and do refactoring we have various options to refactor so we can refactor this particular selected code to a new method we can say log even as you can see it has created a it has refactored that method automatically the message is being passed as a parameter automatically let us see one more feature of so we have one more encapsulate so here visual studio automatically is going to create a property for you get set property So this is one of the future. 
Thank you. We'll come up with more magic tricks for .NET developers with Visual Studio in our next video. Thank you.